how do you do that like how please i want to know like 24 hours <laughs> Hi beautiful people, I am Cities and you welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about feminine hygiene plus a couple of tips for internal and external care. So guys, I'd like you to know that this is a pro women channel. When you go to the comment section, just me. Don't go to the comment section to bully anybody. Let people be able to express themselves. Being a girl child is very hard, darling. You cannot be careful enough. You share your body with your man. You share your toilet with your family. You share your toilet with your friends. So apparently you don't know where this thing can come from. So that is why as a woman, you need to be sensitive when it comes to your body. So when something change, you know, I'm going to be using my phone guides because I had to write some things down just so I don't forget anything. That's on the list guys is wash your VIG every day. Washing your VIG every day can help you stay fresh and clean all day. Like it will help you wear your confidence. You, you can just pull your panties and throw it somewhere without confidence. That even if someone finds it, they will find it smelling fresh, smelling all you. So imagine you staying 24 hours without washing your virgin sis that's so bad like how do you do that like how please i want to know like 24 hours when you do this continuously then you are giving yourself a bad smell you will just change your natural smell to something bad that at the end of the day you just be so uncomfortable with that particular smell as much as possible to put it on yourself to wash your IG every day so the second is stop using chemical soap for your IG a lot of girls we don't care we just do these things and we feel like oh it's normal yeah you might actually think it's normal but this is not normal because this can actually disturb your natural smell like give you a bad smell that you will actually be wondering oh where did i get this smell for that's because you're using any soap and most of this soap contain chemical learn to always use water instead of using chemical soap so if you have to use soap then just try and get a good ph balanced feminine soap we have a lot of them in the stores please get one I need that water. So guys, the next on the list will be urinate and clean the VIG after sexual intercourse. Keeping your VIG clean after sexual intercourse can actually make you prone to infections. And you urinating after sexual intercourse, this can actually prevent the UTI, which is the urinary tract infection. That is why it's advisable to make sure you pee after every sexual intercourse these are little things that we might be missing so please let that vag be clean pamper that baby girl like i always say try and wash after every sexual intercourse and also try to pee after every sexual intercourse so the next on the list guys is change your sanitary pad often whatever you're using tampon whatever you're using girls always try to change your sanitary pad all the time i know like it's not every two hours every three hours but don't take this thing more than six hours normally hygiene tips they always tell you oh four hours but let's be considerate because sometimes we're in school we're busy we have a lot of things to do so we cannot just have like four four hours to go and change our sanitary pad but at least six hours it's okay it's fair enough now you know so guys try as much as possible to change your pad whatever you're using don't take it for too long some people can actually stay they say they'll be on their period they won't shower my goodness like don't even feel like people don't do this thing people do this thing see it's like who does that only a dirty girl will do that no cap <laughs> only a dirty girl will do that but this can actually cause infection it can cause ratchets bad odor like you don't want to be told <laughs> if you know what's good for you sis try as much as possible 
to change your sanitary pad at least six hours don't change it and wear it again no? <laughs> that is even worse i know some people say oh, who does that but if i'm telling you some people do that sometimes maybe lack of money i understand but hey, Joe, please always change your sanitary pads as a woman what you're carrying down there is your strength that is why you need to treat it like that's all you need to survive that's your pride like i don't see how you can care for your skin your body you just have so much body but when a man goes there he smells bad there are a lot of pretty women who has problem with this so guys treat this thing like this is all you do like your life depends on it that's your pride that's someone's food. Care for it. You don't need to be told. These little things, guys, can actually help you to prevent a lot. So you have good smell, prevent you from infection, bacteria, whatsoever. These little things you feel like is too much, but these are the things that as a girl child, like I said, you just have to be very careful. So the next on the list, guys, is wipe from the front to the back. Sis always try to wipe from the front to the back, not the other way around. Cleaning can be very fast sometimes. Like you just want to be fast and just get out of the restroom and do your things. But don't forget, not the other way around. Always clean from the front to the back. You doing the other way around, you can actually be inviting unhealthy bacteria to the front and that might not be good for you. You do it all the time, this can cause infection, regular injury, bad smell, you know, and at the end of the day, you're just looking for one or two things to do. So let's avoid getting batches, let's avoid getting infection, let's just avoid bad smell by trying to do these simple tips, this simple step correctly. It's not easy, but for us it's easy. That's why we are gay child now. <laughs> So guys, don't forget, always clean from the front to the back. So guys, the next on the list is natural scent. <laughs> this is my favorite for today. First and first doors. I want you to know that as a woman, you have natural smell. It's okay, it's perfectly fine not to smell like fresh roses, not to smell like strawberries, not to smell like pineapple, banana, you know, whatever smell you want to. It's okay not to smell like that. But here, there are some things you can do to enhance the body smell. But hey, sis, it's okay not to smell like fresh rolls. It's perfectly fine. But that doesn't mean that when your smell changes as a woman, you don't know. So when this smell is offensive, you should know and visit your gynecologist ASAP. Always smell yourself. Know how you smell. So that when something changes, it's easy for you to know. Like, why do I smell different today? Why do I not smell like I used to? That's because you know your smell and when something changes, it's easy and fast for you to be able to, you know, know what's up is to visit your gynecologist or just do or improve your, your feminine wash or something that you know that, you know, you're lying on that you're not doing. So always endeavor that you smell yourself, you know your smell and it's as a woman, it's okay to smell down there. It's perfectly Fine. So the next on the list is water. <laughs> I will always say this: water is life. As a woman, you need water now. Of course, you need water. It's not good for you as a woman to always get dehydrated. You need water. You need to be hydrated. You know, you need water to be able to wash your system. Like funny enough, a lot of women say, "I don't get wet. I don't get wet." If you're dehydrated you cannot get wet and that's one thing you should know if you don't have a lot of water in your body how do you want to regenerate water how do you want to bring water so as a woman you should know the amount of water you should take is this water help you it's also prevent a lot of water is a lot of things no matter how tasty you are you want you need water when you take juice 
it's if it's not water it cannot be water so it's always advisable says never do away without water always take your water everywhere you go like says water for women it's very good so it's advisable you drink water this will definitely help you clean yourself so the next on the list girl is change your underwear since i don't know how long you wear that underwear i really don't know how long but for me hey girl you don't have to repeat your underwear a lot of guys are on this table don't go there mm, i'm talking to you you might say no or i know you know sometimes these are something that you just do on a way this is something you just like let me just do it today it doesn't mean but sis there's nothing as dirty as a woman who can wear underwear for two days underwear for three days no no if you have only one then do wash and wear it's better for me to wash and wear than wearing one pant one pant for three days without washing sis that is so wrong like seriously you're inviting what you are not supposed to invite to your body and that's where you get infection that's where you get bad smell that's that's why you see sometimes when you're in the room having something to do with your man you just feel like the room is changing it's not about you not washing well it's also about you wearing one panties for three days wearing one panties for two days imagine you wear pants for 24 hours and you don't wash the pants you sweat on that panties that can cause bacteria and remember bacteria they feed on sweat and the skin cells that accumulate in your body and this is what you don't want that can actually start causing you rashes. you start inching you, you won't just know you just find this discomfort under there and that's not so good if you're this baby girl that wears pants for two days you don't care please 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 always try not to wear pants for two days when you wear your pants in the morning you come back home in the afternoon you take a shower in the afternoon change that pants don't wear it because oh i see have the day to go as long as you remove it to take a shower sis put it today and washing machine or keep it somewhere or just wash immediately take the next panties not because you had your shower in the morning and you wore your pants you want to have shower in the afternoon you want to see where that pants is since you had shower change the pants stop wearing panties for two days that's not hygiene that's not good for you as a lady that's extremely bad if there's another word for dirty that's it so sis always change your pants and have a lot of pants like you should have your panties for when you're on your period then you should have your normal regular pants then you also have your sleeping pants if you're the one that wear pants to sleep at night so these are the things you the little things as a woman you need to know you need to do to keep that place smelling clean and fresh <laughs> the next on the list guys is if you're sexually active make sure you go for checkup or go for tests regularly so being sexually active without being told nobody has to tell you that sis you have to make sure you go for tests regularly especially when you're having this to do with more than one person you know so <laughs> you don't know too much you can only trust yourself even you cannot even trust yourself at that time because at the end of the day there are some things you just don't get through sexual intercourse there are some things you get through unclean places toilet you know even chair you can actually sit naked on someone's chair and get something that is not meant to be for you so try as much as possible to go for checkup regularly and not saying every day but make sure you're very very sensitive to your body and pay more attention to your body just in case 
you feel there's something that is not right you can actually just try as much as possible to go to your gynecologist and whosoever you are having something to do with if it's just one person you both should try as much as possible you know to go for tests sometimes just to be safe not so much to ask your partner <laughs> so guys that is all for this video today don't forget to stay glued to this channel we're gonna be bringing more to you bye bye <laughs>